Hello, fluffy friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to read the book, No Lie, Pigs and Their Houses Can Fly. The story of the three little pigs as told by the wolf by Jessica Gunderson, illustrated by Christian Bernardini. Yep, it's me, the big bad wolf. Now, before you run away or start crying, here's something you should know. And this is the truth. The only thing big or bad about me is, well, it's my breath. Doctors say I have UBS, uncontrollable breathing syndrome. Basically, when I breathe, I let out huge gusts of air. I can't control it. Believe me, I wish I could. It's gotten me into so much trouble. Life with UBS is tough. I breathe out and garbage bins tumble down the streets. Trees tip over. On really bad days, airplanes teeter off course. I can't play a proper game of sports. Balls shoot into the air, never to be seen again. Hey, Wicked Wendy, the other wolves yell. How's it flying? Or hang on to your hats, here comes Hurricane Harry. It's a lonely life. That's why I left the pack not long ago, hoping to make new friends. One day, I came upon a straw house in the forest. A little pig stood inside, stirring a pot of soup. I'd never known any pigs, but I'd heard they were nice, upstanding creatures. I thought I might enjoy having a pig as a buddy. I called little pig, little whoosh. The house exploded. Straw flew everywhere. The startled pig took one look at me and jumped right in to the boiling pot of soup. Wanting to apologize, I peeked into the pot. No pig, just a fat, juicy ham. I took a few bites. Delicious. That pig, wherever he was, sure could cook a good soup. Farther into the forest, I came upon a house made of wood. A little pig stood inside, frying potatoes over a fire. I called, little pig, little pig, let crash. The wood house splintered into hundreds of pieces. The surprised pig saw me and leaped right into the hot frying pan. I was so sorry for blowing apart the pig's house. I wanted to apologize, but when I peered into the pan, no pig in sight, just strips of sizzling bacon. Yummo! Finally, I came upon a brick house. A little pig stood inside, stirring a kettle of stew. Little pig, little pig, let me in, I called. Guess what? The house didn't budge. The pig saw me and hollered, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Maybe he'd heard about the other pig's houses and the messes I'd made. I needed to do something nice. So I gathered a basket of turnips and apples. The pig opened the door, snatched the treats, and slammed the door. My stomach growled. I hoped the pig would share his stew with me and we could be friends. I knocked, but he didn't answer. So I scampered up the wall and wriggled through the chimney. Not smart. Uh-oh. Whoop! I fell right into the pot of boiling stew. Ah! I shrieked. You ruined my supper, the pig cried.
cried, but then he giggled. Goodness, look at you, he said, with your fur burnt off, you look like a pig. I did look awfully pink. I'm sorry I was mean earlier, said the pig, whose name was Mortar, Mort for short. Wolves don't usually want to be friends with pigs. They usually want to eat them. I told Mort about my UBS and how the other wolves bullied me about it. Have you tried using it for good? He asked. What do you mean? I asked. Come on, I'll show you. Mort led me to a little blue house. Inside, a girl was huffing and puffing, trying to blow out her birthday candles. Mort nudged me. I leaned through the window and blew. The candles went out and all the kids cheered. Later, we found a group of children trying to fly their kites. The day was calm and the kites wouldn't move. But when I breathed in their direction, the kites sailed into the air. So that's my story. Mort and I have become good friends, and his house is so sturdy. I never worry about blowing it down by accident. He made stew again tonight. No meat in here? I asked. I don't eat meat, he said. Not even bacon? Mort shook his head and sighed. No, Wolf, not even bacon. Not even when pigs fly. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. If you liked this book, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Bye-bye and see you next time.